What is going on boys and girls of YouTube? We're getting started on our season 11 content. It's time. I gave it a couple days. I've been trying to learn as much as possible for the last few days, but it is now time. So the biggest new thing this year is starts <clears throat> straight up. Conquest starts. Where does the jungle goers, mid goers, ADC goers, support goers, solo goers. So we're gonna talk about it. It's really not too complicated right now. Once again, the mid jungle thing is the most complicated and I'm sure you're gonna run into issues if your people aren't playing the game a lot and don't, you know, watch these videos. But overall, it's not the biggest deal. We'll start off with solo because it's to me probably the easiest. Solo is simply going from their back camps by themselves, clearing it while clearing it backing up and heading right to the blue buff clear the blue buff while clearing the blue buff back it up towards your lane once you clear the blue buff pick it up go to your lane clear everything's back to normal and then just be on your buff timers right nothing crazy the reason for this is because they change timers that's why the, all the starts have changed back spawn before blue as you can see in the video so it just makes more sense to do this this is also going to allow with this start everyone hits level two going in the lane which is valuable it gets a little weird getting to three but we'll talk about it as it goes so that's the solo side or solo laner mid jungle we're back to being together clearing together doing our things together full speed and red together behind the tier one tower clear it together then usually every mid will not do this so do not freak out as a jungler but usually mid and jungle go do speed then you separate once you do the other speed buff the mid goes to mid lane the jungler goes to green jungler's goal is to clear green and then make it to the mid lane to get archer xp so you both hit level three now every mid's not going to allow you to do that every lane is not going to work out the same so your other option if you don't think that's possible is to gank the duo lane ganking duo lane is going to be extremely common and eventually these duo laners are going to learn that they're going to get ganked and they're going to be warding or playing around it isn't happening yet so those are your two options as the jungler mid clears mid lane straight forward now we're on to the duo lane the duo lane is very very easy if you haven't noticed they move the green buff to the back camp and they move the back camp to where the green buff was this allows for the support to pick up green buff easier uh, throughout the game and just have access to it from the duo lane so because of this and because of the timer change duo is no longer doing that camp that is close to the mid lane they are just doing the green buff and the purple buff Pull the two together, clear them at purple while clearing, back it in the lane. You'll hit level two before the lane, and there you go. That's the starts. That made it's it's pretty easy, right? Like it's not extremely complicated. After that, everything kind of falls back to the way it used to be. You go back to clearing on timer, you know, being at your camps when you can on timers. And there's nothing weird going on. It's just the initial spawns causes for staggering on these camps and it changes at the start. Will the star change? Possibly. We'll see once we get some more competitive play and people running more numbers, but it does seem like this is the easiest. It's just what everyone's going to do. It makes the most sense. So that's what you're going to see. Hopefully this video helps you guys. The like button, if it does, make sure you subscribe. Then I'll see you in the video tomorrow, the next day, the next day, and the next day.